Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio tutorial. In this tutorial I want to look more on the UV mapping on an image. So let's for the beginning create um, primitives. We'll create a cube and we'll create also the sphere. Next what I want to do I want to open and if you notice before when we created new material we can actually load it as a texture image. So here is one map I pre-created. Also we can apply similar to the um, sphere or different object. And one thing is what you can do here it is you can utilize okay, let's go to our UV paint you can utilize the gizmo. We'll click for example on the projections what is meaning you can modify you can actually move the UV map in directions you want it you can actually increase and a little bit readjust by using your gizmos you can even rotate if you want it for to achieve properly projections that you want it on your models okay awesome we have it optional additional options in a way it will be project and with no gizmos or a straight mapper UV with a gizmo. Okay, this is kind of very straightforward and very easy to see and map it. Okay, let's validate this apply. But what's happening sometimes when you apply it to this is look okay except when you start um, maybe modifying you'll notice the some distortions. This is actually work nice with UV map going over but your object not necessarily can be the same. It's not necessarily can be cylinder or square. This can be very complex. And at this point, you actually want to create some custom UV map. So let's do this. Let's remove this object and let's load it one. We did it before. We go to import and we select the robot. So for example, if we select his head, this is not a cylinder, it's a change it shape. And if we apply a different map, it will be distorted and won't look realistic. So what we can do, we can actually use it unfold operation. Okay. And by using unfold, we can split it and putting and create image and after apply this image back after we process in other applications so we can create a very realistic mapping of the image. So for example right now when it's selected when it can click on fold settings you will notice right here it's all kind of squishy and doesn't look real. To do this we actually need to add seams and we also add the pins. For this tutorial we'll just use seams. So we'll click on one edge, press L, look around and to add seams just add plus. So you notice it turned blue so it's one cutoff. Let's click right here. L. Add another one. Even in this point if we unfold you'll see we have a top bottom and we also have it all the mask around right here that um, other face. Also you can notice when I move over we highlight it so it's easy to identify where is location. But I want to split even more. So let's go right here, select one, press L, add on this side, and let's go add just one somewhere on that side as well. Unfold one more time. And you notice right now we have a very nice unfold on the sides. So when you're done with this, let's save it. Just click on the camera. Now let's save this maybe as the um, JPG. And we call it head. Okay. Let's go to your um, graphic applications, and I'm using Photoshop. You can use it any other applications that you're familiar with. You can use it a painter, whatever you like it. So let's go file open, and we'll just select the image we created currently. This is low resolution, but I think that will be just fine for us. Okay, let's go apply um, some materials over these areas where we have it. 
Okay, so I apply just some materials in very, very rough. So let's go to file, save. I'll we'll just save as a JPEG. Let's click Save. Let's go back to Hexagon application. Okay, at this point we go to um, Chris. Let's click New. We have a texture map. I just click Head New. One thing you will notice it is um, not yet image price, so we need a kind of flip. So vertically. And here, what we apply those textures, they now apply to the head. Okay, and here is an example how you can take an object, create UV unfold map, save it, go modify this, and apply it back to your model. And of course, when you create it, you can add more details, some additional options and that will create a more realistic very nice looking okay there you go so we'll increase a bit more metallic reflection let's create very realistic textures okay and thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio please come visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com